Hello everybody, this is Nancy Smith and I'm here today with the author and autistic teen Christopher Boone who wrote The Curious Incident of the Dog in the Nighttime. Christopher, could you please tell us what exactly inspired you to write this wonderful book? My counsellor Sia Bond told me to write about my life and Wellington, my neighbour's dog, was murdered in my life and that's the story of it because I wrote it. <laughs> well, that is unfortunate but we are very interested to hear what happened from the characters themselves. All right. Is this my best yes, side? Yes, yes, yes. All right, everybody. We are now here today with Mrs. Eileen Shears. Mrs. Shears, tell us, what was your role in so this? So I wouldn't actually call it a role. Honestly, this, I call it really more of my story than Christopher's. Really? See, he's Ed's little boy and Ed and I have a history. So we've heard. And yes. so it's just the fact that he, found my dog dead. We found Wellington. The dog. The dog. Of course, duh. And so he found the dog in the yard and then he has the audacity to come back a week later and investigate. He's a boy. He's the a audacity. child. No, no, no. I called the police like any logical person would when you find someone holding your dead but that dog. Is, but yes, that no, no, no. The, the British judicial system. I can't. He's cat. That's Mr. Right. No, I can't. Mr. Cat. 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 Mrs. Shears. Cat. Cat. Mrs. Shears. All right, everybody, we are now here with Christopher's father, Ed Boone. Hello. So, Ed, let's just get right into it. I think the most frequent question that we hear from the readers is, why did you lie to Christopher? Why would you lie to sisters? Why? I lied because I wanted to protect Christopher. I wasn't ready to deal with the fact his mother left, so I said she was dead. I understand that, and I, I think any parent would understand wanting to protect their child. Uh, let's move on with Wellington. What happened with that? I did kill Wellington. <gasps> it's one of my biggest regrets, but all of the rage from everything just channeled into one moment and it was too much. That's upsetting. I see. And your relationship with Christopher now? How is that? I got him a new dog and we garden sometimes together and it's, it's getting better. I'm glad. All right. We are now going to start our interview with Mrs. Judy Boone, who, let me assure you, is very much alive. Judy, Judy, is she here? Is she? Oh, wonderful, wonderful, Hi. wonderful. Sorry, I'm late. That's fine. It's at your own pace, of course. Uh, but let's let's get started. How do you feel knowing that Christopher's father, Ed, told him that you were not alive? It was completely wrong of Ed. Christopher is my son, and though I did leave with Mr. Shears, our neighbor, Christopher has every right to know that I'm alive and to have a relationship with me. I agree. You deserve a relationship with your son. I must also ask though, speaking of relationships, how is your relationship with Christopher currently? Christopher and I are growing closer every day. We now live together as I have left Mr. Shears. Um, Ed and I are working on co-parenting as well, so things are looking up. That's wonderful. I'm very happy for you. To wrap everything up in this whole interview, we are here once more with Mr. Christopher Boone. So Christopher, tell me, after everything that has happened and everything that you went through in this book, how are, is your relationship with your parents now? I, I got in with father and Sandy and I live with mother. Wonderful, that is wonderful. So things are good now. Things are getting better. <laughs>